All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of 4 plus 8 to the power of 4. So, to solve this problem, I'm going to first start out by factoring out 8 to the power of 4. So now I have 8 to the power of 4 times, well, 8 to the power of 4 divided by 8 to the power of 4 is 1. So I have 8 to the power of 4 times 1 plus 1. Now, if I simplify those in the parentheses, I get 8 to the power of 4 times 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, 8 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So if I replace 8 with 2 to the power of 3, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 times 2. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times 4. And 3 times 4, that's simply equal to 12. So I have 2 to the power of 12 times 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. So I have 2 to the power of 12 times 2 to the power of 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 12 plus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 13. So this is my answer. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and simplify it. So we know that 2 to the power of 10, this is equal to 1024. So 2 to the power of 11, this is going to equal double of 1024 which is 2048. And 2 to the power of 12, this is double of 2048, which is 4096. So 2 to the power of 13, this is going to be double of 4096, which is going to be 8192. So 8192 is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 9. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by replacing 10 here with 9 plus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 9. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 9 plus 1, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 1. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 9. Now from here, if I factor out 2 to the power of 9, I get 2 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. And 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, that's simply equal to 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 times 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now a second method of solving this problem, again, 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 9, this time, instead of replacing 10 with 9 plus 1, I'm going to replace 9 with 10 minus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 10 minus 1. Now I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 10 plus negative 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 plus negative 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of negative 1. Now if I factor out 2 to the power of 10, I get 2 to the power of 10 times 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1. 2 to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over 2, so I have 2 to the power of 10 times 1 minus 1 over 2, which is equal to 1 half. So I have 2 to the power of 10 times 1 half. 1 half is the same thing as 2 to the power of negative 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 9. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. So to start off, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent of b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x. I can move x to the front, so this is going to equal x 
times log 5, which is equal to log 7. Now, we're obviously solving for the value of x, so I'm going to get rid of this log 5 by dividing both sides by log 5. So then these two cancel out. And now I'll be left with x is equal to log 7 over log 5. So log 7, this is actually equal to 0 0.845. And log 5, that's equal to 0 0.698. So log 7 over log 5, that's going to equal approximately... one point two zero nine so this is my answer hey guys welcome back to click academics in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation all right so i have x to the power of x is equal to two to the power of two x so now if i have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 2x, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x. Now, a to the power of m times n, this is also equal to a to the power of n times m, right? We could switch the order of these two. So if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. And if these three are equal, then this means that a to the power of n to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of x is 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now, 2 to the power of x squared, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x. So now, on both sides, I'm going to divide by 2 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out. And now I'm left with x to the power of x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So this is equal to x over 2 to the power of x, which is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. Remember, if I have something to form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x times 1 over x, these two cancel out. And again, these two cancel out. So I'll simply just be left with x over 2 is equal to 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to simply multiply both sides by 2. These two cancel out. So on my left-hand side, I have x is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. So x equals 4 is my answer. Now to check, my original equation was x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So I know that x equals 4, so now I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 4. Now I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. Now 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared, so I have 2 squared to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. 2 times 4 is 8, so I have 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. And because this is right, my solution is right.